So I review a lot of movies that are weird. Usually it's on purpose. This time, this movie's confusing on accident. There's going to be a lot of spoilers in this one, but it's a crummy 20-year-old movie that no one cares about anyways, so I don't see the harm. I just hope someone can tell me what the plot was, because I'm honestly not 100% sure if I got it right or not. Earth and its colonies are controlled by a military political party known as the Bridgists. Their need for total control has led to the near elimination of personal freedom through the use of biotracker implants in all Bridges citizens. A rebellion against Bridges' rule led to a long and devastating war, resulting in over 30 billion casualties and the destruction of all life on Earth. Now, after 20 years, the rebellion is finally coming to an end. Bridges' forces are closing in on the last remains of the renegade army. 200 years into the future, we join a space battle, where a ship boards a space station in order to capture its captain. After the battle, what are you to do with a space station full of civilians? Well, blow it up, of course. Arcadian, when we're clear, hit the station with pulse missiles. Sir, the hall of it is filled with civilians. We can't destroy it until it's evacuated. Arcadian, fire when you're in position. Put that weapon down unless you plan on using it, Lieutenant. <clears throat> I'd rather unload it. The space station is destroyed, but two people escape. He is sentenced to death, but then is given a second chance. Him and three other soldiers that were also sentenced to death for various crimes against the Bridges are enlisted to catch the two people that escape from the space station. Roll call. Rand, Anthony. Formerly Lieutenant Rand. Wingate, Dina. Formerly Captain Wingate. Frankel, John, formerly Sergeant Frankel. Uriah Foster, formerly Sergeant Uriah. To complicate things, they only have 37 hours to complete their mission, or an implant in their neck will explode. Luckily for them, the bad guys also have implants in their neck with tracking devices, so they're very easy to find, immediately leading to a shootout at some random woman's house. Get out! Oh my gosh, it's, I want to say Ulysses. Uriah Foster, formerly Sergeant Uriah. Well, we're down a man, but we picked up someone new. Turns out it wasn't a random woman at all. It was the wife of a man who wrote a very important book and one of the targets of the people from the space station. Off we go to find the men from the space station. Their tracking devices are very close. Shit. Frankel, they ripped out their implants. Ah! Well, that didn't work. Maybe if we look for the person they're looking for, we can track them down that way. So off we go to find her husband, who everyone now knows has people trying to kill him. You want to kill John? His book and his work have done so much good for so many people. Well, that's open for debate. Excuse me? Why don't you ask 30 million people who aren't breathing anymore about that little book? Wait, 30 million? Over 30 billion casualties. I think someone didn't read their script very well, sir. So what's so important about this stupid book anyways? Well, it was just a book until a man named Michael Jerry gets a hold of it. He uses it as the basis of his entire political system. And then the Bridges declare the country under martial law. The Constitution is suspended, and Jerry is president for life. So they find Michael Jerry. He's being replicated, whatever that means. And we get a final shootout. You 
know, that container he blew up contained Michael Jerry. So they failed. The bad guys completed their mission and killed Jerry. And saved the world. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, Wingate goes back into the future. The war never happened. Earth is fine. The world's an awesome place and everyone's peaceful and happy. The bad guys won. Yeah, that's what I mean by this movie being confusing. Apparently, we were rooting for the bad guys to stop the rebels from saving the world. What? That's the plot you went with? I, this was wrote by someone, approved by somebody, and greenlit. We know the actors didn't read the fucking plot. We, we got that. They didn't read the script. We figured that out early on. But someone read it. How was this ever thought to be a good idea? I mean, is it supposed to be a twist? Or we, were we supposed to know this? I am honestly confused by a dumb 90s action movie that shouldn't be confusing. Because the end result makes so little sense that I'm not sure they did it on purpose or not. If anyone out there has ever seen this pile of crap, let me know what the movie was actually about. Because I am honestly confused. Add to the horrible plot, horrible acting, backstories that make no sense or don't matter, motivations that are so convoluted beyond rational thinking it makes no sense a government cover-up of something the government can't possibly know is happening add to all that a special effects team that could do no special effects other than blow stuff up and boy do they love blowing stuff up thank you for watching and as always i shall try to do better next time here is your clip from the movie